Tana Mojo has some major friend drama going on right now, so much to the point that she was extremely nervous to even sit down and film her recent podcast episode. But there was some major drama that went down during Tana's recent birthday trip, and her and Brooke sat down to spill all the tea from what the heck happened on it, and it's not good. It all surrounds her longtime best friend, Ashley, who has always been in Tana's circle of friends. Tana literally calls her a sister because they're literally so close, and she's been around since the beginning, and that's what makes this whole situation so much worse. Ashley has been in a ton of Tana's videos. Tana even gifted her a car before, like they're close, close. And Ashley has always sort of expressed that she doesn't really like Brooke because of a drama that went down between Tana and Brooke a couple years ago. Tana basically put out a video titled, I caught my best friend hooking up with my man, a story time rant scandal. In this video, she explained that she caught her best friend hooking up with the guy that she liked in her own house and had security camera footage of it and everything. The best friend that she was talking about was Brooke, but she called her Mindy in the video. And so ever since they referenced this as like the Mindy situation, people ended up figuring out that it was Brooke in the end. And she responded with a video on her own channel that said to Tana from Mindy, confirming that she was the Mindy in the story. And she gave her side to the whole situation. Obviously her and Tana were able to work through it and they're super close and they do the canceled podcast together. But there's definitely been a lot of stuff that has happened online with people not liking Brooke because of the situation. A lot of people do like Brooke now, but especially in the beginning, people really held this against her and didn't like the fact that Tana and her were friends again and they just didn't feel like Tana should have forgiven her. And there's even been times where Ashley has admitted that she does not like Brooke because of the whole Mindy situation. Hmm. Are you and Brooke friends? Why don't you and Brooke follow each other? What's the tea with you and Brett? Or Mindy, should I say? I don't know. Personally, the whole Mindy situation rubbed me the wrong way, and I personally wouldn't want to be friends with someone that would do something like that. Uh, just, I don't know. Like it, I, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But now Ashley is getting called out for basically being a Mindy and Tana and Brooke sat down to talk about what they found out during Tana's birthday trip in Turks and Caicos recently. Tana flew out all of her best friends for her birthday. She loved the tart Turks and Caicos trip so much that she decided that she wanted to go back for her birthday and she wanted her friends to have that experience too. So that's where they went. They were living their best lives in this house for a week with chefs and bartenders at their service. They said it was literally amazing until the very last night and that's when things were getting revealed and all this stuff was going down and is just not good and basically the only reason why they're talking about this is because things were being talked about on reddit and so now because the internet kind of knows there was drama from the trip they want to just address it and that's why they're talking about it and the reason the internet knew what was kind of going down was because tana said she was seeing red when the situation was going down she was seeing red and she took to twitter and she tweeted out i am in my anyone can get cut off era xo don't really want friends they're Let's see who lasts. And someone said, not you eliminating them like America's the Next Top Model, LOL. And she said, yeah, I'm about to be Tyra standing alone, LMAO. When I saw this, I was like, what happened? Like, is she not friends with Brooke anymore? But she's talking about multiple people. She's talking about a group of people, it sounds. And she's going to be standing alone. So I was super curious, like, what the heck was going down? Now, the thing that really gave it away that there was some boy drama that went down on this trip was that Tana, under a photo that this guy Joey was in, that she invited to her birthday, she said, update guys, he mindied me, ha ha ha. So people started gluing together that Joey was somehow involved in the situation. And because of the whole Brooke situation, we know that Mindy means that one of her friends went behind her back and probably hooked up with Joey. On the podcast, they revealed that it was Ashley. Tana wanted the rumors of Reddit to stop, so she wanted to talk about it here and really put everything to rest. Tana started to get emotional just thinking about the situation, and she said that she learned a lot about going through the whole Mindy situation with Brooke, and she said that she acted out of anger with that, 
she's really regretful for a lot of the things that she said and she did and she feels like she should have never made that YouTube video talking about the situation and Brooke said that Tana was valid to make that video because she was hurt and they both are happy that they worked it out and are closer than ever now but Tana said she learned a lot from that situation with Brooke and that it is helping her in this current situation but basically they say that Brooke was the original Mindy and now Ashley has pulled a Mindy and the way that she found out about everything was what really hurt her feelings she said that she wished that it had just been an honest convo where Ashley could have come to her and said hey I like him all of this but to find out that this has been a thing for the last like eight months was really painful and that she did not know about it. Basically, Tana and Joey had dated back in the day. They broke up, they ended on good terms and they're close still. Obviously, she invited him to her birthday. They stay in touch, they talk on holidays. And so for her to find out on her birthday trip that Ashley has actually been with this guy for a while now, and not only that, but other people in the friend group on the trip were aware of the situation and nobody told Tana until then that's the part that really hurt her feelings certain people were very honest with me like hey this happened this happened this happened this happened this happened this happened and I didn't tell you and here it is and then there were like a lot of excuses on the other side and it really broke my heart the whole thing just had Tana really emotional and she really didn't want to talk about it, but she really wanted to emphasize like she didn't want to bring hate to Ashley. She was only talking about it because she just wants to clear everything up and make sure that people know that she doesn't want Ashley to get any hate. Just feeling lied to by like, especially even just several people, like people saw situations that happened like before the trip that like I would have loved to know about like before the trip so that I did not invite bring him. on this drama. And I hate that it's even on Reddit and I even have to like talk about it because I'm trying to tread lightly because like I said, I learned so much from the Mindy situation. Like I love Ashley as my sister, you know? Yeah. And, like I always, always want to be like great with her. Like even no matter how mad at her I was or how mad at me she could be, you know, like I don't want to lose someone who's been in my life for like, like 10, 11, 12 years. Like that's like a very like sad thing. And especially over a boy that doesn't matter to me at all, you know? Yeah. And I hate that it's even like a public thing. Brooke was saying that even though she doesn't get along with Ashley, she didn't think that Ashley had any bad intent. Like she didn't think that Tana would actually care about her being with Joey. And Tana didn't want this to be a situation like with Brooke where people would go and attack Ashley for this because Ashley is her family, she says. But she said that she would understand if Brooke were to feel a little bit like welcome to the party because for years, Brooke had gotten that treatment, especially from Ashley, of Ashley talking bad about Brooke. And now the roles are reversed and she's done the same thing that Brooke did to Tana, which a lot of people are thinking is a lot worse because of how long it was and how Tana found out. But Tana basically said that she would understand if Brooke felt a little some type of way about it and was gonna be petty. I would be lying if I said that like some part of me wasn't like, okay, because because you were the devil. And, like for I, two I years. know, of course, it's gonna make me look petty and stuff. I've never been able to like mm. publicly say at all because, again, the, our friend group is f very much family. Twelve people, a twelve-person friend group does not exist, in my opinion. But I have, been, like, I mean, been through the ringer through it. Well, I just, I, I feel like, in my opinion, I've been like so poorly treated by her. The whole and but but always with good intention toward you always because like she was protecting you yeah and stuff. but if you're gonna move but, on but the for, a but, similar level like but I'm I understand. gonna be honest like her doing the same thing except twenty times over premeditated I I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna I was like hold on Tana and Brooke say the situation isn't unforgivable there's a lot of sides and stuff to this. If this had been someone Tana was madly in love with, that's unforgivable. But they say that this wasn't someone that she was in love, love with. But Tana is just mad that she was lied to at the end of the day. She also said that it would be fully handled off camera. And she said once again, she didn't want people to come for Ashley because she says that she really did learn her lesson with the whole Brooke situation and they can make it through and they can get past this. And they agree that this is like a friend group issue. Nobody needs to bully her online for this. Even though Brooke says that, you know, she might throw a couple jabs in there. It'll, it'll, be, no one else. it'll be fixed. Nobody needs to bully anyone. And that's but I will, except for me, no offense, I will be doing it for like at least 
six weeks. And that's okay. Like, I'm going to be honest. Just point blank being it's an off camera handled situation and that's a rare thing for me to say you know that's how you know it's like really close to home for me is that like I don't want it so Tana is clearly trying to handle the situation a lot different than the last time her and her friends had boy drama and the comments were praising how they were both handling the situation saying Brooke's ability to have empathy for Ashley after Ashley was so obviously mean and petty towards her is admirable Honestly, Brooke is beyond classy for handling this with such empathy and understanding, knowing Ashley didn't do the same for her. Seeing how hurt Tana was by the birthday situation was so hard to watch. I'm so glad that Brooke supported her through that. This whole thing is clearly such a mess, but Tana definitely has all the love and support after talking about it. As of right now, though, that's what's been going on in her world between her and Ashley and the whole birthday drama. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, my God.